Covering the Metro Atlanta spa shootings as told by a Korean American journalist. Six of the eight victims in last year's tragedy were Asian women. Our Joe Ripley got a behind the scenes look at covering the story from the AAPI perspective. Joe? Yeah, good evening. He's Sung Yang. He goes by Kyle, called the shootings last year shocking. But over the last year, he has seen the fight for change firsthand. The Korean American reporter told me in this case, it's difficult to separate the professional from the personal. It's been a crazy, crazy two years. Heeson Yang joined the Atlanta Chosen Daily as a reporter just before the pandemic. Just over a year in came a career changing story. You don't pass by every weekend without a shooting. It was that bad. But this one was a was a kind of a shocker to me. March 16th, 2021, a gunman killed eight people at three spas in Atlanta and Cherokee County. Six of the victims were Asian women. This was the view behind Yang's lens. He says as a Korean American, he was able to connect with the victim's families and the AAPI community on a deeper level. Being local gives like an in-depth coverage or a little bit more edge, especially like people to open up to us. Yang has followed the story for a year, covering memorials, tracking the court process and legislative efforts to make change. Friends, my colleagues, they talk about like how sometimes it's they're fearful of walking down the street. We are so angry, but we like to share their pain and sorrow. Connie G is the executive director of the Asian American Resources Center in Gwinnett County. She's also seen the heartbreak firsthand, attending funerals, helping the victims' families raise money and supplies, as well as spearheading rallies to stop anti-Asian hate. Doesn't matter what color you are. Most important thing is understanding and respect each other. So it's most uh, in open communication. Yang says covering the spa shootings strikes a personal chord, but as a journalist, he says he's able to bring more awareness to his community, even through tragedy. It's a tragic event, but this tragic event helped to have like, a, it became like a huge stepping stone. I asked both Yang and G if they felt the AAPI community has gotten more support, more awareness since the shooting last year. They told me while the laws have changed and rallies have raised some awareness, many Asian Americans remain fearful of potential hate crimes. And that process, they say, will be gradual to healing as a community.